Why pleasures today is uh, visiting um, Art Cava. First thing of interest to see is this um, olive, olive, olive tree, uh, which is I'm told a thousand years old. Comes from Jaén in the south of Spain. 5,400 uh, kilos it weighs. All right, this is the old house. Um, which is um, part of the visit, and if you come here to uh, Art Cava, uh, this of course was originally the uh, family home. It's an old um, sewing machine there. Foam, quarter to eight. Into the kitchen. That's the uh, family probably spent most of their time in here especially in the, the winter months by the fire, chatting. Well, in fact, even in the summer, it's nice and cool in here. We're about 30 degrees outside. Probably mm, about 20 in here. Let's go through here. Yes, I'm told this wall we're looking at now is um, a thousand years old. house is sort of built bit by bit so you get the older and they might not build for another 10 years or 100 years and we've got um, this little hole here is where the grain used to be stored now we're going to the new part where the, uh, the cover is made and oh well, what have we here somebody trying some cover Hello there. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, can, could you tell us uh, your name and a little bit about uh, what you do here? Yes. In Art Cava. Yes, we are Art Cava. We are here about five years ago. And we started this project with a, with a partner. And we are the unique seller in the world that uh, people can come here and make their own personal cava. Sure. So it's a very nice experience to come here, and, and if you can come and you and make your personal cover, it's a well, a well project. And and how does it work exactly? How how I mean, how do you make cover exactly? Um, yes, you, yeah, you can you can participate in the all the process of elaboration. First, uh, you t taste the uh, the wine base. Uh, and then you fill the bottles yourself, fill the bottles, and then it's the, the aging and the fermentation, and you come uh, near, near Christmas, you come to disgorge, disgorge mm -hmm. the, the bottles, and then you have these bottles to consume you in your house. So, so I could, pre for example, uh, if I wanted 80% Chardonnay and 20% Monastrel, that would be no it's problem. Yes, but it's not exactly. I have uh, some... Uh, Wise by wine bases uh, make it, and you can play with Chardonnay. So you can choose five percent of Chardonnay, ten percent of Chardonnay. But the Macabeo Charello and Parallada are made it. They are f uh, in the, the same parts. So 20, 40, 14 uh, different parts. Uh, and what does the Macabeo give to the Cava? Exactly. Why? What does the Macabeo give to the Cava? Macabeo is the the half of the production, the volume. Gives it volume, okay. And the chalelo? Chalelo, the, the, the strongest, the, the cuerpo, el body. the body. Mm -hmm. the what was the other one? Parallada. Parallada is the more fruity. Gives it aromas. Uh, aromas, yes. So we, we're trying uh, one cava here. Do you have the bottle? Yes. Let's have a look at those bubbles. Um, and this is um, cava palago. 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 And this is, uh, what, what's the coupage here? Uh, it's Macabeo Charello Parallada. It's a classic Cava Penedès, and it, this is one one year aging, so it's very young, and it tastes very fresh for the for the summer. It's the perfect Cava for the summer. And uh, what, uh, what what do you think of the Cava today? Um? Oh, it's very nice. It's perfect. It's not sweet at all. It's bubbly. It's cold. It's hot outside. It's perfect. So, so it's a Brut Nature then, I take Brut it. Nature, yes. Okay. Always Brut Nature. And you, you yeah, madam? No, I, I really like it, madam. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. I think I'll try, try a glass myself. 
here it comes now. Thank you.